If your Keurig looks anything like mine, then you might be brewing up a lot of bacteria. Did you know you should be cleaning this every couple months? Well, I've had this baby a few years and it has never been cleaned. But before I start and before you even have your first cup of coffee, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click the bell so you're notified every time we post an exciting video like how to clean your Keurig. We're gonna get this thing back to normal and in healthy working order with only one ingredient, white vinegar. So the process is pretty simple. First things first, make sure it's unplugged. Second, we're going to take out any of the removable parts. These we can wash in the sink or in the dishwasher. Now any parts that I can see with my eye, I'm going to wipe clean with a clean dishcloth um, and just some warm water or paper towel. I would like to know how many people actually clean their Keurig. The outside's looking pretty nice. So I think it's time to clean the part that we can't see. So to clean the inside, all we're going to do is pass through a solution of vinegar and water. It says you can do half vinegar, half water, but I feel like mine needs extra vinegar power, so I'm gonna do a whole cup of vinegar. Pour it in the reservoir, lift it up, now the water goes down, or the vinegar, and now it says I'm ready to brew. Now I'll put this nice clean cup here so that when this filters through, you're going to see just how gross this is. Oh, there's some floaters. <laughs> Not quite as nasty as I thought. But then again, bacteria is invisible to the eye, right? All right, gonna repeat the process. Ooh, yeah. That's vinegar coffee, so then it's we gotta get rid of it. They do sell a product that is made for doing this, but I feel like vinegar is gonna do just as good of a job. Here it comes. A couple floaters still in there. It's kind of gross. All right, so now I think we've killed most of the bacteria. We've run straight vinegar through a couple times. Now to get rid of any vinegar taste and smell, we just run a few rounds of plain water and we're good to go. The instructions say to repeat this process until there's no vinegar smell or taste. There's just still a good amount of floaters. So I feel like I'm just gonna keep doing this process a few more times until I'm happy. We're going through with one final clean water round and then I'm ready for a cup of coffee. Just about no floaters, I'll take it. All right, good as new, time for a cup of coffee. Let's hope that this does not taste like vinegar. Looks like coffee. Let's see how it tastes. Not a sign of vinegar in there. Overall, cleaning your Keurig is super easy. So I will definitely take this technique and use it on a more regular basis. So come on over for coffee. I promise it'll be safe. At the end of the day, I really just keep thinking, how harmful can it be? It's just water and coffee. I think that's why I just haven't done it. I'm like, it's not like it's raw meat going through my coffee maker.